One of the most complicated systems in my home is my remote control and television. My television did not come with a remote when I purchased it. So I bought this universal remote when I purchased the television and I've just kind of used it ever since. So I'm going to just show you real quick how it works. So um, this top button up here. Okay, so let's just see. Okay, so this screen kind of lights up when you touch touch a button. There is the power on on the right, power off on the bottom left. Okay, so we're going to power on the TV by pushing that button. And sometimes you have to push it several times before the television will respond, but just keep pushing it till it activates. All right, so I have it set to turn on to Roku right now, and that's how I'll leave it for you. And then I'll show you here in a little bit how to switch it to TV so you can watch just regular antenna TV. Okay, so we have it on Roku. Um, if you, so this is where you can use like, the volume key on this remote will work. Oh my God, this is just crazy. Okay, there we go. The volume is on my under my thumb here. So you can use volume to switch volume here um, or on the Roku remote. There's a volume on the side also that would control the volume on the television. With Roku, once it's kind of on this main screen, I just push the home button, which is the top right button. Let's see if I can get it to zoom in here, for heaven's sakes. It's the top right button. And that's gonna show you what channels are available. And then you just use the, the um, oh my gosh, okay. Use the arrows to go up, down, forward, left, right, whatever. So um, let's just say you wanna watch Netflix. That's also a, like a speed button, it would just take you straight to Netflix and pop that open for you. You can sign into your own account. You can use my profile. Um, and if you need passwords and stuff, just holler, just text me and I'll send them to you. But it should be okay to just set up either your own profile or just use mine, whatever. And then, um, and then okay is just to select what you wanna see. And again, volume on the right. You can also mute it that way. So you can see it's working on the TV. All right. Um, home will get you back to the main menu. So that you can scroll through. Maybe you'd rather watch Hulu or, oops, I did it wrong already. So over here on the tiles, you would scroll through the tiles and decide what you want to watch. So that is Roku. And again, everything on Roku is... is controlled on this remote. Okay, so let's say we want to switch back out of Roku into regular TV. So that's when we grab the Beast remote. And then we need to get to the different input places. So I will push this little arrow button on the bottom right under this screen. And you see how the menus will change? So as I change it again, it's starting to show different displays. If you push it till you get to the input next display on the right and then push that button, the TV will show you the different uh, input options here. So Roku is set to HDMI 3. Come on, focus. There we go. And TV is over here. So to switch over, you'll use these arrows down here and I'll just go left to hit to TV and then the OK button in the middle here to select TV. So that'll switch you into TV and then from there the channels are set up so that you can just use this remote to scroll through the different channels on the antenna. Okay. All right, so how do I turn off the TV from here? Let me see if I can get this to focus again. Okay, so back up here, we have to get back to that screen that'll tell us where the power on and off is. So we're going to hit left to scroll back over to where the power is displayed, power on, off. So that would be your bottom button here. Power on is over here again. So basically, you are looking at all of the different menu options that appear in this screen, 
using the these key arrows and then um, also this section of the remote the rest of it you really don't need to worry about so um, i'm going to switch it back to roku do you remember how okay let's see i'm gonna get it off the tv so it focuses on the remote there we go all right so back to my little bottom right arrow to flip through my options and i can do input next And then I can scroll over um, using this button to display HDMI 3 on the screen. Switches to Roku. Once it's done there, you just hit the OK button in the middle. If you get hung up, just text me. Hopefully this video helps. Um, I have, you know, and honestly, as long as you can find those two screens in here, you can pretty much do anything. Uh, if you accidentally push something wrong, then just like, let's just say we're going to push something dumb and it's like, oh crap, now I'm in aspect and I don't want that. You could probably back out or exit from there. I don't even know. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. So the screen says close. So let me try my arrow keys. Oh, no, that doesn't. Okay, so let's just go to exit. Does that work? <laughs> I don't know when it gets messy like this. Okay, so then the display kind of changes up here. Um, if it's asking you if you want TV or watch a movie, just hit devices, this bottom button to bring the devices back up so you can get back to TV. Tell it, yeah, we're trying to talk to the TV here. And then, um, I don't know. There, it went away. It's always a little bit of a mystery. So, um, yeah, good luck. I, it's, I probably make it more complicated than it really is. And then I worry that it's going to be complicated for you. So hopefully this video will help. And like I said, just holler if you've got questions. I'm going to leave it set to Roku since you guys do streaming anyway. Um, and so when you come in and, and turn on and off the television, you can just uh, watch your streaming stuff. So, all right. Holler if you've got questions. Good luck. Bye.